You are going to have to completely bleed your brake system after this job. Do not try and drive the vehicle without completely bleeding the system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool. The master cylinder is located under the driver's side cowl panel. You do not need to remove the entire cowl to perform this work. Start by removing the rubber trim that runs alongside the cowl, red arrow. There is a set of tabs on the underside of the driver's side cowl indicated by red arrows. Lift the side cowl and slide out the tabs from the main cowl. You will be draining the brake fluid, which is lethal to any vehicle's paint. Be sure to have plenty of thick cloths covering the painted area around the brake reservoir, red arrow, and additional rags to clean up additional fluid during the removal process. Brake fluid is also highly flammable, so all rags contaminated with brake fluid should be safely disposed of when done. We also recommend placing a drip pan to catch any fluid that may escape and splash under your vehicle, red arrow. The master cylinder is attached to the brake fluid reservoir, which will need to be removed first. Locate the brake fluid reservoir and remove the cap and strainer, red arrow. Use a fluid pump or syringe and a catch bottle to drain the reservoir, red arrow. Again, brake fluid is fatal to your paint. Make sure you do not get any on you or your clothes and then contact the paint surface. There is a cross panel covering the brake fluid system indicated by the red arrow. Unscrew the two T30 Torx screws along the top, blue arrows, and the one T30 Torx screw, green arrow, holding the cross panel. When reinstalling, you will need to tighten this to 14 newton meters or 10 foot pounds. Use a flathead screwdriver to unclip the wiring harness connected to the cross panel, red arrow. You can now lift up and move the cross panel to gain access to the brake fluid reservoir. Disconnect the electrical connection from the fluid level sensor by pressing down on the release tab. Use a 5mm socket to loosen the fastening screw holding the reservoir to the master cylinder. During installation you will tighten this to a torque of 8 newton meters or 6 foot pounds. The brake fluid reservoir is held on top of the master cylinder. At this point, it is just held in place by friction from the two grommets in the master. Use care when removing it not to spill any fluid that will still be in the reservoir and have rags ready if this happens. Use a 13 millimeter flare nut wrench to unscrew the two nuts holding the brake lines to the master cylinder, red arrows. Use caution as these nuts and threading can easily strip. During installation, you will need to tighten this to a tightening torque of 18 newton meters or 13 foot pounds with a tolerance of plus or minus 2 newton meters or 1.5 foot pounds. Use a 13 millimeter wrench to unscrew the two nuts holding the master cylinder to the brake booster, red arrows. Again, during installation, you will need to tighten this to a tightening torque of 23 newton meters or 17 foot pounds with a tolerance of plus or minus 2 newton meters or 1.5 foot pounds. Use a flat head screwdriver to disconnect the electrical connection for the brake light switch by gently rotating the release clip, red arrow. The master cylinder can now be pulled out from the brake booster. Use care when removing not to spill any fluid that will still be in the master cylinder. Have rags ready if this happens. The rubber grommets from the reservoir are still in the master. They can be removed by hand or a flathead screwdriver, red arrow. If you are reinstalling the master, make sure to replace the reservoir sealing O-ring on the rear of the master to the brake booster indicated by the red arrow. Installation is the reverse of removal. You're going to have to now completely bleed your brake system, including activating the ABS pump with your scan tool. Do not try and drive the vehicle without completely bleeding your system with your scan tool first. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe to our channel and check out another video in this series.